y'all? It's Honey. Welcome back to another episode of Smooch Loves <coughs> Honey. And today we have a special guest, Mr. Mm-hmm, himself, Polo <laughs> the Don. Shout out everybody, man. The Polo the Don, man. I can't fuck with him, you know. Smooch is what it is. Smooch <laughs> Honey, that's all y'all. Smooch Loves Honey. Yeah, Smooch Loves Honey, yo. What's up? I can't just hang out with him tonight. We finna get into a lot of shit, you feel me? Damn, you talk saying? fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I might mm-hmm. slow it down when that liquor kick in. Slow it down a little bit. <laughs> Alright, for sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Where you from? I'm from Fort Pierce, Florida, 772, St. Lucie County. Why you gotta say it like that? You said what happened? Why you gotta say it like that? Cause nigga act like they don't know, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I know. Like every girl Cause like we me, don't know. Every girl like me, they be like, Where you from? Miami? No. Where you from? Broward? No. Look like you from Broward. I'm, I'm from Fort Pierce, Florida. Like I it said, don't first sound time. like you from Broward. I don't really, yeah, it don't sound like I'm here because I ain't from here. Fort Pierce, Florida. You look Shout like you from Broward. You look like you from Miami. I look like I'm from Florida. Yeah. I look like I'm from Florida. Florida. Everybody knows the bonk things is like a Miami. Yeah, you're from Broward. Yeah. Broward, Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, you know. I'm from 35 minutes above Palm Beach. Still South Florida. Southern District of Florida, if you want to be. Y'all specific. want to be from South Florida, so. I know y'all, y'all, y'all think Dade and Broward and uh, uh, Palm Beach is the only South Florida. I right, okay. What about Fort Myers and Temple? Like that ain't that ain't South. No, Florida? no. Fort Myers definitely South Florida. Don't get your ass whooped. They all get whooped real good. Yeah. Plows from Fort Myers, right? Plows from Fort Myers. And we don't say B. Who? Us man, that was 2008. Here. Man, leave that shit back there, man. <laughs> you played that shit in 2008. Why are they playing with us like that? Like, 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 man, we, we ain't gonna go there. Shout out to Broward. Shout it's out to 2024 and Plaza County. still saying B. Palm Beach County love me. <laughs> shout out to Bell Glee. Shout out to the Mont Mo- City, what they do. Right. Question How many dreads you got in your head? Probably like 11, 12, something like that. Oh, it feels kind of big. What the heck, bitch? Mm-hmm. I'm just asking. I just woke up, like, let me go fuck with my dogs real quick and look how they doing me. All right, cool. Sure. <laughs> so we from Fort Pierce. Yeah. Um, if I I could be pronouncing it wrong, but I don't think I am. Vietnam Projects. Yeah, I'm from yeah Vietnam Projects. What, what is that? What is what is that? What I mean? Vietnam Projects is like it's been called that since my grandma them days, but it's like 29th Street and 31st Street, just like the the housing projects around that area. So is it kind of like poker beans, or you don't know about it? Uh, I think it's a little bigger than poker beans, but it's something like that. I know what poker beans is. You, I, you think I ain't no Florida nigga? I just, I I just asked. How about I'm asking about poker beans but never been there in a day in my life before? You ain't know you been there. Wait, what part of Broward you from? Dillard. I heard about Dillard. I don't know nothing about poker beans, but I hear people talk about it. And I, yeah. I hear about it on First 48, so that's why I had oh, to ask. Man. I don't really know. Fort Pills made First 48. We be on there too. I mean, that don't, it don't mean nothing, but... I was about to say, you proud of it? <laughs> no, I ain't proud of it. <laughs> but they look... Sound like you was having about. a proud moment. No, nah, right, a proud friend. moment. So, what you been doing with your life? What you been doing with yourself? I mean, I've been home from prison like 45 days, something like that, and I've just been having fun, trying to unwind and shit, get this anxiety out of my head. How long you did? I did three years in the federal prison. What you did? Uh, Guns. Guns and shit. Oh, you was what? Transporting guns? No, like aggravated assault type shit with a fight on, you know, on possession of fight on by convicted felon. Oh. So what you got convicted for? Uh. Before, for you to be a convicted felon guns, in the first place. And guns and shit. Like, I've been getting, that's all I go to jail for is just, I ain't going to jail no more though. There's two more money. <laughs> two more money out here. You feel me? They were back in like just growing up as a kid like type shit. So that was when you caught the case? Which one? The one that sent you to prison. Twenty twenty and like summertime twenty twenty, feds came. It was a state case at first, cause I guess some nigga said something. He was lying on me though. But uh, the feds came like eight months later and indicted me. Type shit. I went to trial and shit. Shout out to me, nigga. Went to trial. The feds came home to tell the story. I ain't gotta tell no now, nigga. I do my time. Mm. Fucking nigga, talking about. Mm. Right. Okay, so now that you done grew over these three years that you had in prison, what 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 you gonna do different with yourself? I mean, I'm feeling sexually charged, definitely. I've been abstinent for three years, so I'm definitely on that type of time. But other than that, I've been trying to save up on my music and shit and just drop as I go. I dropped a couple songs out there, but I'm gonna get a little better. Let me get my groove back. <laughs> 
So you basically saying that it's kind of like a little bit trash, a little bit. It's a little mid. Y'all want to play it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's cool. I mean, it ain't it ain't horrible, but you know what I'm saying. It can be better. It's gonna take me like three months to get in my vibe. Y'all gonna like I got a song called Still Got That Dog in me. Y'all gonna love that shit. I can see you, you gonna fuck with it. You might be tagging me all on Instagram and shit. <laughs> you know, for real. What you talking about inside the song? I just how I just came home from prison and like the girls who didn't ride is the one back on my dick and the girls who did ride, like just so disappointed about all the attention I've been getting from other women, so it's kinda of turning them off. If you get what I'm saying. You got a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. For what? You just got out of prison. You, you know, know you, 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 look, but you know how that shit go. I don't, I don't mind having a girl because I like stability. Like, people be telling me don't get a girl. Like, bro, I'm a grown ass man. You 24. Of course, you ain't got to get a girlfriend, but bro, like, I like in house. I like to go home. How old are you? 30. <laughs> Stop playing. Yes, I need a girlfriend. <laughs> what you saying? Yeah, definitely need me a girlfriend. But I like, but look, I like that 90s. Lauren Hill, 90s, early 2000s, love. Like, don't give me none of that 2020, whatever, love. I'm cool on that shit. 20, 20 that whatever. Sexy Red mm. and Suki on that. That, that, that era you from. I don't want that. No, name. I ain't from that era. Right? Right, yeah. I'm definitely not from that era. So, I, fuck with, I fuck with Sexy Red and all that shit, but you, you can't be my girlfriend. But You, you can be some little shit with, that you I. Know, you can be friends. You, you can be my little, yeah. But it ain't going to go no little further. Little woo we ain't got. Little secret. Nothing else. Like, like, don't even tell nobody. See? <laughs> See? I fuck with sexual red music though, but it ain't like no hate shit. It's just that's not my type. She probably gonna tell me I ain't her type, and I respect that. I understand but she that. She ain't my type. What's your type? Man, what's my type? What's y'all type? Nah, you can't answer a question <laughs> with a question. You, you gotta, gotta answer the question. You gotta keep a mystique, cause if you tell a girl what your type is, she try to be that type and fake it. You gotta give out. Uh, a person be can only fake for so long, long with me. You got three so days. They got with me. right, like. I said, a person, I said a person got at least six months to fake, to I fake don't lie. the phone. Women know how to fake it for more than a year. That's what I'm saying. They, they but know how to fake lie. the phone. But I'm not a regular nigga. Like, I pay attention to people. Okay, so what's your type? Don't answer a question with a question. I'm going to stay mysterious. I'm not going to force myself to answer that question just because you want me to. <laughs> but I fuck with you, though. <laughs> and y'all look good. All y'all look beautiful. I like thick girls, though, if that, if that make y'all smile. No. No, nah, it got to be a little deeper than that, huh? You got to be smart, too, and on your own shit. I don't care how much money I got because I got my own money. But I, I like a girl to be self sufficient. I don't, know, I don't want no crab ass bitch. So what if she say that before y'all could be together, she want you to pay? You gotta be paying all of the rent. I gotta know what that pussy value is before I do all that. But I definitely don't mind paying no bills. That's petty. What is it? Twenty five hundred. I mean, we that, live that by rent like, these days. Yeah, that's by rent. Uh, that ain't, yeah, I don't mind it. That's a pair of shoes. Like, I gotta buy shoes like ten times a month. So it's like, okay, I don't mind that, but. What? what you let, me ask, let me ask you, what, what, what do you do? I'm an artist. And, and I'm an uh, engineer. And I'm an uh, everything any girl want me to be. Okay, so you, them, you, signed to, you signed to Dollars and Deals? Yes, I'm signed to Dollars and Deals. But that's my, we more like a family. We got a family vibe over there, though. So it's more so like some family shit, though. We've been rocking for like four years now. Twink, he produced music, uh, beats for you or anything like that? Who? Twink, the fat man, fat beat man, Twink. Who is that, DC? You know Twinkie, big, big cuz. If you still, you'll remember. Well, he yeah. with it. Dollars and deals. He with dollars and deals? Yeah, he be around. He be around or do he be? I fuck with the in the mix at the table niggas. Like, everybody else, I fuck with them too, but the ones I fuck with are at the table. That's like, who you know by name. Like, we're plot, yeah, that's who I know, no. Like, the ones who at the table strategizing and marketing, like, that's who I fuck with. Everybody else, the homeboys who be around and make the beats, I probably see them now, I know them. But, at, but right now, I'm, I'm focused on what's important. And I ain't saying he ain't important, but maybe if I see him, I know who it is. No disrespect to whoever it is. So you attracted to hood rats? I like girls who, I like hybrids. You gotta be, you gotta be boozy so, in a little bit. So hood. you feel like it's the difference between ghetto and ratchet? Ghetto and ratchet is the same. But if you a hood girl, you know, but you, like a lot of hood girls are in school, got their got they masters. Like a lot of, my mama got her masters. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you could be a hood girl, but don't be a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I still, you can be from the hood. That's cool. I like, I like suburban girls too, though. Suburban black girls, but it's just like, okay, I love black women. Period. Dark skin, light skin, no matter. You know, I really so, like. So it's safe to say that you don't like ratchet. I, when you no, think about ratchet, what what comes to mind? Like, extra, like I'm already ratchet. Why do I want? Why I want ratchet? Bitch? <laughs> like I don't want. We we can't be too. Somebody got to think. 
I be on some wild shit sometimes. I ain't always gone. Sometimes I need somebody to tell me like, like, babe, calm down, type shit. Like, what if so both of us are ratchet? We gonna catch the same type of time as you. Nah, because if I'm already okay, I'm a little book smart, I'm a little street smart, but I need a girl who got what I lack, so we can complete each other. So I feel like ratchet to me. When I think about ratchet, I think about foot dragging. Walk around with no shoes on, pants yeah, right. unbuttoned, and all that extra shit. Ratchet can be a mindset also because there's a lot of people with money that still don't know how to act. So, yeah, it's a little deeper than that. I mean, not to go against how you, what you no, feel. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, how you feel about that? I know ratchet people, but like you said, it's a mindset. I've never turned my back on the ratchets because the Turn ratchets. Turn your back ain't got, that ain't got nothing to do with us. On a daily basis. No, I don't want to I'm, deal with them I'm, on a I'm, I'm always trying to improve. I'm always trying That's to move fact. to the next level. I'm always trying to do better than what I was doing tomorrow. And if I hang around certain kind of people, first of all, those kind of people don't excite me. I don't have the desire to be around those kind of people. But What about at, the rich ratchets? Because there are rich ratchets. Is, is that a little better for you? Uh, No. No? Like, I don't, it don't, I don't care about money, your money. I don't care about all that. I don't like... The way I carry myself is the way I would like the people and the women around me to carry themselves. I'm not I respect that. on all of that. I respect that. So having said that, everybody, you know, that's why. Shout out to the ratchets, man, because y'all yeah. be in the club going crazy when my shit come on. I might give y'all a little poke on the well, forehead. What, what uh, hit you from the back like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what you mean? That what part is, so you know funny what to me. What you mean, what it is? like? No, I'm saying that's what the, a part of the song say. Yeah, it say that. Yeah, no, that's the only part that I know, though. <laughs> we gonna learn. But I done heard it inside the club and them bitches. Yeah, you like that. I mean, everybody fuck with because mm -hmm, it's, like, relatable to all, like, it's not a ratchet hood thing. I'm, I'm talking that shit, but at the end of the day, like, girl, like, like we some, talk that like shit. It's like some shit that you play inside the club that you'll turn up to. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, so, you know, look, look at Sexy Red. Like, she, like, number one in the country right now. You know, she doing her thing. I like she keeping it real who she is. That's who she is. You know what I'm saying? So, she ain't trying to hide it. She genuine. That's why it, you can't not go against genuine. Like, we, we feel it with a nigga faking. Or with a girl faking. Like, when, when somebody faking it, like, I can feel you faking it type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, sexual red is genuine. That's genuine ratchetness. I don't give a fuck how you feel about me. So that's why I respect it. Because you ain't trying to fake it. Right. So do you fake it? Or you are who you are? Uh, I definitely fake it when I go around white folks in their stores and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be going up and be like, hey, bitch, where the goose at? Like, like I'll be, hey, man, you put me over there to the section where I can, like, you know what I'm saying? Clean it up, you pop. Yeah, you got to. You know, you, you got to be a comedian. Like, you can't. I can't be ratchet all the time. I definitely get ratchet. I can't be like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I can't be mature all the time because you got like niggas that be on fuck shit. Sometimes you got to slap a nigga. Sometimes, like, but niggas will put you in jail. So I don't even want to do that no more. Type shit. I just want to stay out of the way. Because you learned your lesson. These niggas, you know, stand and point at you. They're like, hey, Polo the Don slap me type shit. So I don't want to go back to prison. You ain't on that type of song? Nah. Gotcha. If I got to, like, if I got to slap a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But well, he ain't on that type of time. We definitely ain't on that type of time anymore. He ain't on that type of time. Nah. Mm-hmm. So what's up? Like, what's up with y'all? Like, y'all see How long see you had them goes in your mouth? You, see, you said what happened? How long you had them goes in your mouth? I had my goals in four years and my breath still don't stink, so I don't know what you niggas be doing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I done came in contact with a couple of niggas that got goals and their mouth smelled like pennies. I, I He's don't know. sitting right here next to me and I can't smell it. But I've been next to a nigga that's sitting like close to me and I can smell their mouth smell like copper or whatever the fuck. It's it's because y'all don't take care it, of your It's all about personal hygiene. Some niggas got stink ass dreads. Like nigga, your dreads stink. Like how you don't know your breath stink? Like, I'm, I'm literally sitting across from here, from here, I can smell your breath. Like, you don't know your breath stink? But. No, nah, nah, you're straight, DC. I'm, say <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like. I don't know why I, because a lot of people like this It's a hygiene type of thing. Of I'm, like, I'm yeah. looking at you as you're talking, and I don't see no, like, glunky stuff. No, I, like, at the bottom, you know yeah. how they had a caked up stuff at the yeah. bottom of their teeth? I don't see that. For sure. You yeah, floss yeah. every day? Yes, I floss every day, brush my teeth every day. But what I How? love the most about that process is mouthwash. How often do you go to the dentist? Um, these days it's like when I be eating candy and shit, like it go to hurting certain teeth. I'm like, yeah. oh, hold on, tell me you finna, you feel me? See? You got, you got from the, oh, it, it stopped right there. Yeah, what, what, what is that? What? Eight? Is that eight at the bottom? Eight on eight. I got eight on eight. Oh. 
Do you plan on taking it out your mouth to have more polished I look? I want veneers, to be honest with you. I, I already had good teeth to start with, but I was just on some ratchet shit. But at the end of the day, everybody telling me, like, just go get a diamond before you. The reason I didn't want to take my goals out because I'm a Florida nigga, I was like, man, I let it's everybody. The image. It's like, I like being. When you got diamonds, you have no identity. Like, you could be a Florida nigga with diamonds, it's cool. But when I go to Cali in motherfucking Georgia and New York, when they see the goals, like, all right, that nigga from Florida type shit. So it's like, when people went to the diamonds, that shit cool and all type shit. But a nigga see a nigga with diamonds, I don't know where you from, like, type shit. I like, I like still being. Diamonds is normal in Florida. Diamonds is not, I mean, I mean, goals is normal in Florida. Goals ain't normal in other states still. In Colorado, with a mouth full of goals, it's like, damn, this nigga gotta be from Florida type shit. So I, that's why I still got to, but I will go get veneers type shit. Do you see that in your near future? I get veneers? Near future, like six to eight months, six, six months to 12 months, something like that. So like this year, next year? Mm, something like that. So when you go to Cali and the rest of them places, they're not gonna know where you're from? Yeah, but I, I like my swag, like the way I talk. You know, you gonna know. So rather you put veneers in your mouth or not, they still gonna know where you from. What you trying? What you trying to do to me? Because I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm just asking. Why everybody got booted? Like everybody ass got so much ass. Like, like it's just everybody just dick. Like these days, this shit's crazy. I guess it it depends on what area you go to. Because I went to Ohio and I ain't see nothing. You see no ass? Nothing. I ain't gonna lie, no girl, pretty face, no nothing. I'm gonna keep it real. A girl told me like I'm gonna keep it real. Top states. Florida got to be, like, one of the top states. It's, like, the most beautiful women type shit. Now, I'm in a room full of beautiful women right now. This shit is insane. I'm fresh out of prison. I was waiting for this day. <laughs> for real, though. Why don't you walk in? I don't even know who she is. With the music that you make, we was talking about it off camera. Do you feel like your music has longevity, like you're not one of those popcorn artists? I ain't gonna lie. I dropped a song, some little shit, that I just did in the studio randomly one day with this nigga. And I went to prison for three years. That motherfucker's still in the club, like, on some, like, I... I'm still getting booked. Like, I just started dropping music. I'm still getting booked to this day. I probably got, like, six more shows off the shit I dropped three years ago. Like, I ain't even get that new wave yet. So, that's what I, that's all I got to say. Like, when I, when I slide through the city, like, or where I'm from or in my little area, like, they rapping my old shit word from word. It's just, like, I got a solid fan base type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fuck with me. Super tough type shit. So, do you think you got anything that's... Anything that you got dropping now or about to drop that's compared to that that one song? Oh, everybody wants some pussy popping shit, so let me go to the studio and drop that. But but as of lately, I ain't dropped that yet, but it's going to come eventually. I ain't going to force you nothing. You just need some, some yeah. time to boot yeah. up. I mean, y'all come to the studio and motivate me. Next time I go to the studio, I'm going to call y'all. We all get in the booth. We're going to get back on that vibe. So what's the end goal with music? Like, what's the... The end goal? This is what you're passionate about, or is this just something I mean, that you're doing because everybody else doing it? What's the end goal? Nah, it, it definitely can't ain't everybody else. I've been rapping before everybody else. I'm 30. But other than that, um, I want to, like, I'm more passionate about business these days type shit. You feel me? Like, so, it's like, when I did that time in prison, it's like, I'm on some shit, like, I want to, I'm passionate about building businesses. I, I wrote down in my book six different businesses that I want to start, security businesses, restaurants or whatever of course that's gonna come at a point in time but right now i'm gonna use my cash cow which is music to get to that point so i ain't gotta rap no more i ain't so you I, got an ingo yeah definitely i got a thousand ingos okay. shit one gotta work shit something gonna blow something gotta blow this rap shit i'm gonna use the rap money to invest in all my other you know what i'm saying <laughs> what's up with you this girl you're listen funny. no he just said he gonna use the rest his whatever my rap money so the best thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. But some people may not know what you're saying. You ain't even finished the sentence. I know what you're saying, uh, but right. they probably don't know what you're saying. I want to use my rock money to invest in my other business ventures. Right. Whatever those may be. I ain't got to put everybody in my business about that, but y'all know what I'm saying. You were shot, right? Yeah, I got shot when I was 19. In the chest? Yeah. How? Why? How? What led up to that? What, what uh, did you do? That's some street shit, but... uh. Shit happens in the streets, and it, it be back and forth, so, you know, it be that. But, you know, I don't want too much get into direct shit, but, you know, some shit that happened when I was 19, people got shot, shit happened, you know what I'm saying? But so you, you did some shit to them that made them come back and do the shit that they did to you? Basically. Something like Something that? Something like that. Okay. Okay. Sums it up. How was your upbringing? You had your mama and your daddy in the same house? You was with your mama? You I grew up with my mama. Shout out to Lucha. I'm going crazy got the whole the Lucha house. Shout out to my mama, man. So where your daddy was? I think bro was in like Colorado or some shit. 
I, my mama moved. My mama moved to Colorado in the '90s to go to mili- go to the military. She brought my daddy with him. They fell out. She she came back to Florida. My daddy said, "I ain't going back to that shit." He never come back since. But I be I be fucking with a man now and then. I call him and shit. I be pulling up out there. So you a military child? Never. No, I'm not. I don't know what happened with my mama, but she just she, she hurt herself and she got an honorable discharge. So I wouldn't say I'm a military child because that happened back in the nineties. Okay. But I did move around to a couple cities because of that, but it wasn't my whole life. It was like early, early in my life, before I was 10. So you feel like if you had had your daddy there, your life would have turned out different? Man, my life's great, man. I'm getting money. We having fun out here, my nigga. I ain't, ain't nothing going on in my life right now. I went to prison, did three years, came home. I got more money than I ever had. Whatever happened in the past, we ain't dwelling on that. We getting this paper, we got the emotion, whatever. Do you remember how, you, how your experience was with your daddy or no? Yeah, we straight. You know, me and my daddy straight. Same old Not shit. Not now, I'm talking about back then. Back then? Like, was it, was it? No, nah, we were cool. I, like, 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 we family oriented. So, like, we all, you know what I'm saying? He stayed in Colorado, so I ain't see him a lot. But, like, I be talking to him. I go up there for summers and this shit, you know, shit like that. It was cool. So, he was active. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do it like that. He, he was great. He, he was. He, he was, was great. Not active. He my, was there, but with, he wasn't there. I grew up with my mama. He was in there. That's good for y'all. I grew up with my mama, day for day. So she was a single parent. My mother was a single parent. Did you have a stepdaddy? Man, you got me fucked up. Man, I wish Lucha would to my stepdaddy. We're going to run that nigga ass up out that bitch. You were in a post to it. I mean, my mama would have had, 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 had a boyfriend and shit early on, like when I was 19. But by the time I turned 13, 14, nah, nigga, it's, it's already me and my little brother here. We don't need no more niggas. I'm the man of the house. That's what I'm on type shit. But I mean, y'all probably grew up differently, but I don't. I just don't play like that. Like, But she be having little boyfriends and shit. Like, the like, dude she fuck with, that's cool with me. Just, they come over. Y'all enjoy y'all stuff in the front room, but when, I'm time, when it's time for them to go. It's time for them to go. It's time for them to go. Not enjoy they stuff in the front <laughs> room. <laughs> like she the child and they the adults. Yeah. I just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just dominant like that. So would you say you had a pretty normal childhood? Oh, I never said that. I never said that. Because when I was asking I the question. I had a questions. very, 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 very traumatic childhood, but not from inside the house, from outside the house. Stuff, did my, you have to be in the street? Inside my house was... My mama, inside my house, we had everything we needed, type shit. So you decided to go out there and be on, be out there in the streets on your own. I, I, I ain't decided to be active. It's just a lot of fuck shit happening. We be forced into situations about who we love and who we care about. So you made a decision to go out based off of who you loved and who you cared about. People made a decision to come fuck with who I love and who I care about, and then whatever decisions happened after that is what happened. So they came fucking with y'all. Whoever fuck with who, I don't know. I just know I got out here. People was fucking with my folks. So after that, I don't really give a fuck who was wrong or right in the situation. Same thing if I fuck with y'all at that age. I'm older now, so I'm going to ask, what the fuck you did? But back then, I ain't give a fuck. If y'all tell me what happened, that's just what it is. I'm pulling up. That's how it was. But now I'm not that ignorant anymore type shit. I want to know what's going on. I try Before to you react. Before I react. Because you, you might be fucking with this man. This man don't fuck with... DC don't fuck with nobody. Why does DC slap you? <laughs> you, done, <laughs> you, done spit on this, you done spit on this man. That man slap shit out of you. I'm not going over there. You was in the streets. Was it like I'm in the streets and I'm making money in the streets, or I'm in the streets and I was I'm like always like being I, Lucifer? I, I both, both. I'm on. I was on bullshit, but I was still trying to get some money. Like I wasn't never like no bomb ass jit. Like I always had a whip. I always, like I go like back in them days. I go get a job if I got to type shit. Like I'd have had job construction, like all type of shit. Like, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna never try. If I gotta go all the way broke, fuck that. I'm going to work. I, don't, I ain't like these jits. I ain't gonna be living up in my dude. My mama ain't gonna let me just stay up in that motherfucker broke. Like, hey, what what, what you, you, man, my mama gonna be mad. What you about to do? Who? She don't, Lucha don't play no games. You ain't gonna be sitting up in that bitch, not going to school. I went to school, I went to college and everything. I ain't staying in college, but I, whatever my mama told me to do, I tried my best to do it. But even How long you stayed in college? Probably like two, three semesters. I went to RSC and found you. For what? Um, RSC for business, no, RSC for media design and found you for business management. Did you see yourself doing any of that? Now? Hell no, I did that shit because of my mom. <laughs> I just told her that, like, bro, I be doing shit for you that I ain't even want to do. Like, I ain't even want to go to school. <laughs> like, type shit. I, I went to school, like, I got kicked out of school so many times growing up, like, middle school and high school. I used to always get kicked out for fighting and just riots and shit. Like, going to them so, BJJ, going to jail and shit. But it's just like, okay. 
It's like I somewhere around I turned 16, 17, I started like getting sent. So I started going to like after school programs, night class at the college, like just getting my credits up to graduate on time. I'm surprised I graduated. But somewhere around my twelfth grade, yeah, I just started getting on the under road, all type of shit. But I graduated on time though. And I went to school um that fall. So you're not a dumbass. No, far from it. I wanna know what your outlook is on this. So you get the money, you make the money, whatever, from the music, the money start flowing in, it's good, it's whatever. You feel obligated to support your family and your friends? I already support my family and my friends right now. They know. I ain't going to get into it, but they know what I do for them. I, 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 I'll support my family. I said, and my... I ain't asked shit. I said, do you feel obligated? I feel obligated with my heart because I got a good heart. These are the people that raised me and, and helped me get through life. So I'm obligated not by because I feel like I'm obligated. It's just, I never let myself lead them in the dark. You know what I'm saying? That's just who I am. Say, for instance, you help me, I'm your cousin. Okay. And then I ain't trying to do shit with myself. I ain't trying to do the fuck nothing. Yeah, you and gotta... I keep coming back like a fucking roach. I keep coming back, no, keep I coming let, back. I ain't gonna let you keep doing that. You gotta show me you trying to do something, too. Okay, so at what point you're gonna cut me off? Cut the, cut the water? At the point in my mind, when it get to that level, it, it ain't really something you could call out before it happens. You know it when you feel it. Like, this nigga playing with me type shit. Like, you gonna know it. You know. I ain't gotta tell you. You know what I'm all playing games. <laughs> I know that, but some people... Y'all know. I know girl that. Go first. I know my that, but some Lord people tolerance. feel like, okay, since you my cousin, since you my brother, since you my sister, I'm going to keep the water running, but Man, don't some, get your, some people do feel like hey, that. Hey, Carl, don't get your ass beat, Carl. I love you, Carl, but I'll beat your ass. Cut your ass off. They'll cut my ass off if I keep playing. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. It will. Because I, I don't know why for some... Like, family members feel like, oh... Even if you ain't got it, they feel like you do got it. So let me call such, 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 and let me ask them for whatever, whatever. You give it to I, them I, that I one hate, time, second I, time, third time, they keep coming the fuck back. I hate that my heart, like, I hate that I got, I got a heart of gold. So it's like, even when I ain't got it like that, I got to have 500 to my name. I'm still trying to see what I can do to help somebody I love. It ain't got to be my family. It could be a, a woman, a friend, a, a business associate, whatever it is. That's just how I'm is. I hate that I'm like that, too, because I went through a lot of bullshit because of that. I hate that you like that too. I can't change. You can't change what was instilled in you growing up. Like you can't change the integrity and the morals that got put into you. Even why you think a lot of good people keep getting fucked over? Because that's who they are. Like they're a good person on the inside. Now you got to learn and adjust. A lot of y'all grew up cut though, so you might not understand me. But at the end of the day, like uh, some people just, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, definitely ain't gonna let a nigga play with me type shit. Like, bro, you playing with me? Like, oh bitch, like stop playing with me though. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like if I feel like this person genuinely trying to better themselves, I'm gonna try to be there for them. I personally feel like it's not my moral obligation not. to support, like, or to carry the weight of black people on my shoulders. It's not. So, with that being said, that includes family and friends, too. Okay. So, when they not doing nothing to help themselves out of the situation that they in, at that point, is it like a... You know what? I'm kind of being a crutch for you. I'm not really helping you. I'm really hindering you by keep supporting you. Or is it like a damn? My cousins have been here for me all this long time. So let me just. You gotta look inside somebody, and you gotta and fuck what they talking about. Talking about judging people, bro. You gotta judge a nigga by their character and by their how, how their abilities. So it's like, damn. I know for a fact I tried to help you once. I know you ain't got it in you, but I did it out of love. I can't keep trying to help you because I don't see it in you. Like, you feel me? But a lot of people out here, it's a lot of broke niggas out here that just need a chance. I don't even want to say broke niggas like that. It's a lot of people out here that, that ain't in position to help themselves that just need a chance to help themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, like me, I, I was broke before. I had to come get help. Like, I got money now, a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying? But it was a chance. It was a time when I ain't had shit. It took a nigga on another level to come grab me up and pull me up, you know what I'm saying? And I went through times where I feel like I ain't know what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? So some people just need a chance. The women, especially women, y'all, y'all, all, all women want a rich nigga, even when they ain't got shit, because they want a chance. Give me a chance to ball. So niggas do it all the time with women. Why I can't do it with my own cousin and my brother? Whoever that person was who came and they helped you or whatever the case yeah. is, they saw the potential. They saw the fact. drive. They saw you wanted to help yourself. That's a fact. Show I'm talking about the people who aren't trying to help themselves, but they want a handout. That's what I'm talking it about. It ain't too many niggas that ain't trying to help themselves that's going to get a handout from me. Oh, okay. I forgot to mention that. Let me say that then. Let me put that, that in front that's of That's what I was getting at. My, that's my fault. What's important to you? With me? Nah, the person behind you. Of course you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean what's important? Like, be more specific. Elaborate. 
what's important to you? What drives you? What motivates you? What What do you What do you love the most? What's important to me is being the best version of myself that I can be. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, but it make me feel good to know that if my mama call me right now about any little problem and I can solve it, that I can do that. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I feel. So how you feel about women women using you? Women using me? Yeah. Like if, a, if a woman gonna use me like financially, if a woman wanna use me financially for what one else, night, what else she gonna be using you for? <laughs> so what else <laughs> what she gonna be using you for? Oh, I like the way you think, but I don't. <laughs> But, but it's like it's like if a woman want to use me financially, it got to be short term. You ain't finna be, you ain't finna be milking me for a year. Like we gonna we gonna have fun this week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like we gonna have fun tonight. If you want a little bread, I could do that for the night. But you ain't finna be in my pockets for two years straight. Yeah, because if, if that's what you came for, then you probably can find it again. So we gonna have fun for now. We gonna do what we do. Have fun. Hit me up whenever you free. We could do it again. But you ain't finna be on me day for day. I got real shit going on. Like type shit. I got real bills to pay. What's your credit score? My credit score probably like 760, 770. I can show y'all right now if y'all don't believe me. Yeah, I want to see. I, wanna I don't see. believe. I'm not one of them. Don't even show them. No, I'm going to show that and let them know so they can tell the whole world. Smooch is looking, y'all. Oh, you just got these cards? I just got out of prison. Who been working your credit profile? Nobody. Really nobody. I you got yeah. something to work with? It ain't like you got all this bullshit on your credit and... I mean, I, I could go where I want to go, but I'm going to have to pay a little price. But I am a convicted felon, so I still, I still am, am a black man at odds in America, though. Build up your credit profile, child. You'll be all right. Yeah, be all right. They're going to look right past that mm-hmm. black man shit. Uh, man, <laughs> I was it, it it might... only one color in the world. That's green and blue. It, there you go. Right. Credit, credit is power. Credit, credit is power. So, credit over power money, baby. Facts. Because money ain't even real. So, therefore, you need to build up your credit profile. Yeah. With that being said. Well, thanks for giving me tips on something that I already knew about. All right. All right, so, do it. Tell so me yeah, yeah. right. which way now. I'm exactly. doing it now. See, I got no. three credit cards. I'm swiping No, you about. need the back date. Yeah, like. You need the back date. Put some trade line. Yeah. All right, thank y'all, um, beautiful black women, for updating me on credit and things that my high school teachers didn't teach me about. You're welcome. Anytime. Yeah. Just let us know when, next oh, time I'll you want to know something. Yeah. Do you see what they do, man? You better tell you already around girls, so you just be you used to this shit. I'm cool. I'm so what? Okay, I don't so know why I feel like he's taking offense to what the fuck we talking nah, about. No, 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 I love that. I love it. We gotta speak the truth. Fuck all that fake shit. Let's do it. It ain't nothing to take offense to about nah, Grady. That's I'm, real I'm not shit. taking offense. I'm not taking offense. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's what that's what we, we got we black need folks to be here talking about my, my bad part of my soul. What you said? That's what the fuck we need to be asking each other. We need to talk about credit. If if you see me right now, LaPolo done likes to talk about credit. If you don't know me, so I'm about to be hearing all that rah rah ga 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 ba 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 shit. You stay inside of a house, or you? Um, yeah, written? I was in the condo, but I'm finna go get a house. So. Next time when you drop y'all another song, y'all wanna come song? see the view? The view real nice. Shit. Y'all wanna come see it? No. Next time when you drop Bad another song, song you about you? when you put put it in another song, say something. <laughs> I don't know that hate <laughs> shit, my nigga. Hey, all right, what you was saying now? Next time when you make a new song, say something about your credit. Say no. something positive. Yeah. I already did it. I, I think I, I can remember what I said. I what said, you said? I said, um, damn, back to real estate. Mark, I said, damn. Fuck all that, man. Sw- <laughs> 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 you don't know? Damn, back to real estate. My bitch a real estate agent. My credit score 750. Close the deal, no payment. Put it now 250 over the willow racing. Me and my little brother devil dipping in the Brazilian lady. Some shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> okay then. Mm-hmm. Ready, okay. So, okay, which one is it? Are you easily excited when it comes down to promiscuous women, or are you just like, that's cool, that's straight, whatever? I'm, 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 sex, I'm sexual, period. So, it, it, it be the little quiet girl in the cut, too. That's the way we'll fuck shit out of Like It be the little quiet girl in the cut sometimes. Like, a lot of girls be, like, overtly sexual, and they sex game is on a the seven. They just are overtly sexual, like, Personality wise, but it's a lot of girls who are not overtly sexual who gonna put it on you. And those are the ones you gotta really look for type shit. But a lot of girls who claim they can fuck good can, but a lot can't. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about that though? Feel about what? What I just said. The, I don't fucking know. I ain't fucking girl. I don't. I don't know. You hang around women every day. Come on. Don't, don't I don't fuck them. I hang they, with they them. They tell you about their sex game. Yeah, and they be lying sometimes. How I don't you know, know. How you know when they lying? Because sometimes I be knowing the guy that they done mess exactly. with. Exactly. That's what I meant. Oh well, say that then. Girls be talking to me in circles. Though. I swear for God. <laughs> 
They could be talking to me in circles on purpose. So which one is more important to you, loyalty or sex? Loyalty or sex? Some girls I don't want loyalty from. Like, I just want sex. Depends on who we talking about. I, like, if, if, if okay, if I met her tonight, we having fun, I'm spending a little bread, I'm not asking for loyalty. I want sex. For my girl at the crib, like, but, but I want loyalty and sex. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, we mean on some fun time. I don't need no loyalty from you. You go home to your dude, you know? Because you're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, I'm definitely make it Make it a good time, I'll make it a long time. Yeah, like, I'm, we might be long-term sexual partners. <laughs> Y'all, y'all got long-term sexual partners on and off. Y'all know how that be. Yeah, when well, I'm in a bind, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, what that was? What you said? If you make it a good time, make it a long time. If you time. make it a good time, baby, I'll make it a long time. So, so you be paying for pussy? <laughs> <laughs> or you pay a bitch to leave? <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> 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 Why y'all, I said I plead the fifth. Oh, I, you ain't got no kids, right? No, nah, I ain't got no kids. You want kids? Yeah, I want I want a daughter and a son. <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> I want a, do- a daughter and a son. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I felt like that was, uh, I don't really see it happening, but. I don't see it happening because, like, the world that we live the in. The world today. we live in is not the same world that I wanted a son and a daughter from. Like, this is a different world. Like, I just seen a girl get on the internet, like, I got a raw nigga. I'm like, man, okay. Shorty probably fuck with the nigga she like. As soon as I came to her city, like, oh, nigga, you ain't even tell me you was in the city. Like, you already told me you got a raw nigga. Like, you want two? Three? Like, me and him gonna be fucking you at the same time? Then whoever else raw you find, so I don't want. I'm cool, like. People can have, women and men can have some of value that's already of value and still want something else. It's like the grass always look green on the other side, but we all come with our flaws. That's how it feels. So you don't cheat? I don't be in a relationship to cheat. You so never you're not been in a cheater. relationship? I've been in two or three relationships. I'm not. Uh, Did you cheat? Yes. Yes, I definitely cheat. <laughs> in all two or three of them? Nah, I got cheated on in the first relationship. I was green as fuck. And I, got, the, I got got, but it's cool. And in the second one, in the third, uh, yeah, third the second, one, second, the third, you I, did you. That, right? hey, second, second, and third, I definitely came back for the revenge. So, why the revenge on who? Because the, the first girl cheated on you. Or just black women. Everybody. Just in case she doing some shit that not, you don't Not even just in case. Like, baby, this is my lifestyle at the time. So, basically, you were scarred. Yeah. I got my heart broke at 14, and that was way, way back. So, all the girls after that, it was straight payback. That's a boosting line, by the way. Okay, so what about now? Do you still feel that same type of way? I'm a house nigga now, baby. I'm in the house. Go get that money. So you I just got home. out of prison? Yeah. You always making excuses for my goodness. Like, trying to make me seem bad and shit. So is it... Okay, so would you say that fresh out of prison, you would want to be in a relationship with somebody? It's crazy because the girl I was fucking with, since I was fresh out, she thought that I wanted my space. So I'm hitting her, like, because it's a million girls hitting me up when I got out. So she, I'm telling her, like, what's up, baby? Like, what's up? She like, man, do you, do your thing. I've been, you've been locked up three years. I've been outside the whole time, just hang out. But I really wanted her to be like, like, baby, come home. I'm 30. Like, I'm not 22 years old. You you you, you stop putting that same uh, uh, assumption that every man want to be like, bro, i just been around musty-ass niggas for three years. Like, I want my girl to tell me, like, bring your ass home. I already had, I already had my sexual life already. Like I'm not a kid. Like I'm a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I still so get. So y'all. No, that shit over with. Do you know yeah. how to freestyle? <clears throat> yeah, I can freestyle. Say something after no. Do you do that whole jail thing where you bang on your chest or no? <laughs> no, no I, don't I never meant to make you cry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trip. No. Yeah. Freestyle. Freestyle. <laughs> Ever since you been fucking with that dude, baby, it's like you been getting into your groove lately. I'm like, how you let this lame ass nigga in your life? Do we fuck you like you got a point to prove, baby? That nigga look like he worked for telecommunications. Probably get paid to answer phone calls, staple papers. I bossed up now, I'm sliding that new Mercedes. I don't even feel right just riding without you adjacent. Some shit like that. I ain't gonna go too much. You ain't supposed to give him too much, but that was a little. Okay, story. rap about something in this room. Somebody so we know that room. ain't something that you just you you been wrote. <laughs> because we don't we don't we don't know. Rap about. I like bend over, touch the bottom of your heels though. Take this dick like a real hoe. Take this dick like a real hoe. He must be talking about <laughs> the girl behind the camera. <laughs> 
Lay that bitch on the back. Ate the pussy so damn good, she got a slob all down the crack. Beat dick ball alert. What interview this is? Smooth honey. Smooth honey. Yo, all that lit for the fuck of bitch till it hurt. One thing in the book. Let me tell y'all right motherfucking now, that ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in this room. That did not happen in this room. I don't know why that man is saying that. I was saying something along the lines of wrap about my hair or <laughs> my bitch eyelash or something. This motherfucker say big big ball alert. Big ball alert. Okay, woo, calm down. All right, no, that was for, for whoever watching who needed to hit up. Cause it might be a girl out there who's interested. You know what I'm saying? Big dead ball alert, baby. Both on. Baby. <laughs> y'all, I ain't just talk, I got a bad suit. Can I talk to my fans? It ain't good about y'all. It's okay. I literally <laughs> just sat here and said, rap about something that's going on in this room. This motherfucker. But I told you to do a couple things during the interview that you didn't do. What? What did you say to do? I don't, I don't, what? Did you say DC? Uh -huh. Yeah, both y'all. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Y'all. You about to say it right now. I didn't hear it. Cause I thought I answered the question. Did she answer the question, DC? I'm glad DC had a whole album back. They went on to the next question. <laughs> exactly, exactly, my nigga. What? Right. what so we gonna go? No, no. Girls that's always that. try to have any of this. What? Like y'all good at it too? Like, they got, I'm they really right got now. straight faces. Like what you, what, what you talking about? Like, like a on, zero girl. faces. I honestly really don't know. We gonna go to the next subject. Okay, well, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't yeah, know they, but they don't know because y'all gotta edit it. Yeah, so they don't know when they watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't always like to win arguments with women. I just always. Play, Pozo. You probably got a flavor ass, bro. She trying to play. Y'all know what she doing, though. I'm gonna let her hang out. This is our show. I'm still stuck on this rap that he just came up. I just didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. Big, 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 big ball alert. <laughs> Yeah. I asked you to rap about some shit in the room. I guess he wanted to rap about how his big dick I, and he's balding. T t tell me, tell me that I'm a scribing black man trying to black excellence or something. We ain't got to keep. No, we hadn't thing. already told you that already. Baby. And then you ain't talking about your dick. And you wouldn't talk about your dick. Y'all talk about y'all pussy every time. You didn't hear us say like one time. They, 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 they talking about they pussy every time. You don't know who you miss to. Don't say Nicki Minaj. She do I too. don't. Who you listen to? I, I listen to JT Money. I listen to Ride Wave. I listen to Plies. What's your other playlist? Yo, uh, yo, yo, Lamar. When, you, when, you when I'm trying to turn up, I shit. listen to the JT. I listen to... I mean, it ain't really too many girls that... You I like, mean, you like JT? Bitch, I ain't friendly. I don't fuck like with JT? you bitches. Hey, you had enough of you bitches. Hey, y'all like, y'all sell pussy? JT cool. You sell cool. pussy? She cool though. J, yeah, yeah every. Do y'all be selling pussy? No. <laughs> Why? It's, the, it's like the thing to do now. I'm it's just, the thing to do I'm now. I'm just really like women rappers. I'm just talking about from their from they perspective. She said, pay for this pussy, nigga. Get your bands up. Oh, you ain't tricking, nigga. Oh, you ain't doing that. Just because I listen to this shit, that don't mean. And that's, you know. how, and that's how the male audience got to be told the, the rappers, like, okay, I listen to that music. That don't mean I'm doing what they saying type shit. So. Literally, it's all about the person because I can listen to some shit. That don't mean I'm about to go out and do it. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna real. When she said that, it just brought the trick out of me. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Trick at you? Yeah, when I heard that part. So what's the most you ever spent? Who, me? What's the most money you ever spent on a female so you can I, trick on her? I'd pay a bit too wishing if I like her like that. I'm paying college tuitions. I'd rather pay for a girl college tuition than buy her a Birkin. She could tell me 60K. If I could see how both of us can benefit from this, I'll pay 60K before I do You heard that. what he said, how both of us can benefit. Yeah, both of us. Nah. Yeah. Ain't nobody out here helping nobody for no reason. Nobody. Go, go to a charity for that. Go to Red Cross for that. I mean, yeah, it's people out here that helping people for no reason. Yeah, no, nah, they getting that pussy, though. That's their reason. That's their reason. Say it again. You talk fast. They're getting that pussy. Like, a lot of niggas helping... For the pussy. So you I'm know, helping for business benefits. If I'm wrong for that, then what about the nigga that's only doing it for pussy? And huh? you still ain't getting the coochie yet? Who ain't getting the coochie yet? Oh, okay. <laughs> Girl, I'm about to hit that <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It, it, you, you, you a hard, tough fella, like, to be tricking and not getting no pussy. 
Like, what are you doing it for? Like, for the company? So I'm, I, I niggas, like them kind. I ain't gonna lie. N- <laughs> niggas, oh, you want a sugar daddy, but you don't want to give out no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I ain't gonna lie. If it's, I can get over, I'm gonna get over every time. And that's why I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> if I could walk, if I could walk and swing I'm, this I'm ass not. and not let my feathers get plucked, honey, I am not about to let my feathers I'm, get I'm plucked. I'm gonna pluck the fellas, but um, I'm gonna keep it real though. A lot of men like different things. Like every man don't trick for pussy. You got dudes who feel lonely, like just want to like. I literally text a girl like, man, I want to cut her tonight. I ain't had no intentions on ha- trying to have sex. We end up having sex, you know what I'm saying? But I literally just need to be held that night type shit. And it was, I, I never had intentions of fucking like, hey, I need to come. It's she wanted to. Yeah, you know, she wanted to. You know something? I learned that a lot of women do not know intimacy beyond <clears throat> sex. Facts. That's a big fact. <clears throat> I be asking a girl like, when I ask a girl, I what's, <laughs> when, when I ask a girl what can she bring to the table, I'm not even talking about financially. I mean like, <laughs> they ain't got nothing in their name but an iPhone. iPhone but it's like when I ask a girl like what you bring to the table like encouragement like like are you bringing like like what are you bringing it could be like a a, a, a vibe like make, give me what peace. you mean what I'm bringing to the table I'm like, bringing me to the table like what are you though I don't, oh that's what they be saying I'm like what's I'm inside of you that, that make you more valuable than this person like I want to know I ain't, I ain't saying you're not more valuable but sh- tell me everybody on some like arrogant shit so, like it's just I get to a point where it's just like getting talked to any type of way by a piece of shit. It'd be like weird. It'd be like, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, my mama taught me humility. Like, always stay, because I get on that fuck shit for sure. But I'm, it's like, all right, I'm on some, like, all right, stay humble shit. But you got pieces of shit, broke ass bitches, niggas, they ain't got shit going, be around a bit with their chest out. Like, they just, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, man, the world's so fucked up. But I let people do their thing, you know. Whatever going on, that's what you want. I'll be in my own lane. People, people see your worth. You ain't, you ain't got to throw out your word. Like, I'm this person. Like, I can look at you and study you and know, like, all right, you got a little something going on for yourself. That's why people try to attach themselves to people. That's, and that shit be lame. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to go to the top. Like, if we can benefit off each other, you got a podcast, I rap. I can shot you out of my raps. You shot me out of your podcast. I believe in that type of barter system. I believe in we can help each other. That's what I meant by when I told the girl, what can you bring to the table? Or me investing in your tuition. Like, cause I'm not just gonna give a random girl fifty thousand dollars for college. Like, babe, we gonna we in this shit together. Even if we ain't in this shit together on the relationship shit. All right, if I help you with law school, I man, I might need you on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Look out for me then. I help you not type shit. And that's how the world works. No matter how much people try to, man, that's just how it go. People ain't giving you no loan for no reason. They they won't like that that interest type shit. Like the banks ain't even giving you no no. no the world works that way type shit. You feel me? You you got few little people. Who helping you just because they want to see you win? Like that's very rare, but it does happen though. I want to go back to the this this intimacy part. Mm-hmm. So y'all, why y'all ended up having sex? Um, when you just wanted her to, I, I can't. I don't oh, know. I mean, you no, know, maybe it's just our aura, the type of chemistry we had. She was just like, did you initiate it or she initiated? She initiated it. I feel like girls be when they go to touching me like oh, we in the bed, we laid up, we watching. Now like, you rubbing on nigga chest. I'm real ticklish around right this little area right here. You feel me? So when the girl get down now, I go to like, hey, man, hey, watch out, type shit. Then she go to kissing on the nigga neck, and you know, after that, you know. She initiated that, though, for sure. She know she did. <laughs> so had she not did that, then you, everything would have been whatever. Like, you wouldn't yeah, even. Yeah, I know how to chill. So I'm not. Okay. I don't be pressed for, like, sex a lot because I, I get sex any time I want to. Let's <laughs> Oh, intimacy? I don't get intimacy anytime I want to. That's the fucked up part. Like, sex, come so whatever. You crave intimacy. intimacy. I crave, I need intimacy. So, intimacy when you call her to cuddle with you, she basically she gave me, she gave me what I wanted. Like, well, she, but, she, so she, she, maybe she came and got what she wanted. So, you know, I was like, hey, man, what's up? Like, like come lay up. Type shit. I just want to watch a movie type shit. So, she came and gave me that. So, she probably felt like she deserved some dick. So, she got it. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the prize? I mean, I'm a trophy. But what, okay, so what is this? We we not the prize. He not the prize. So like, if I ain't the prize, she ain't the prize. It's just fair change. But I feel like me and her are a prize because she brought to me in my life what I wanted, and I gave her what she wanted. I just feel like everybody should feel like they the prize. Like, I definitely feel like I'm, I'm the prize. Fe- well, I'm a female, bitch. I'm the motherfucking prize, and I feel like if I was a nigga, bitch, I'm the prize. Exactly. Oh, like bitch, you. I should feel the same way you feel, bitch. Right. I'm the prize. You the prize. So That's now right. what? What we doing? And that first, they could be like, "Well, nigga, fuck you." It always be like that at first, but you gonna see me again, but it ain't gonna be with you. <laughs> you gonna see me again, but I'll probably never see you again. Would you date a woman with kids? 
Yeah, one. Oh, oh, oh. One is the cutoff? Uh, she got to have one child because I don't have any kids and I want to start my own family. I don't mind one, but if you if I came and you got three, I, I'm, now if I had three, I, I have to understand, but I have no children. You know what I'm saying? I can have a preference. <laughs> so like the that. least? At least one. One. No, one cool. So everybody, three, four, five. I don't say everybody make mistakes because a, a child is never a mistake, but... Bullshit. Oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 life, I, life, I life could never be a mistake because you don't know what that little boy or little girl going to be one day. Uh, then you're going to regret that. I, uh, I never find out. What? You a savage. What you say? Damn. You goes, shit. Shit. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. I didn't say you that now. I didn't say that. I don't feel... I feel like... It's a, it's a, when you, in some, in some situations, it's not your intentions on getting somebody pregnant. It's not your intentions on getting pregnant. And it, in that moment, it's a mistake. Then this child comes and all know. that other stuff. Like when I'm in jail, like, it's like, I'm, I was in jail. This girl I was fucking with from Jacksonville. A nigga got her pregnant. Like she was my little baby. We weren't together, you know, and I understand that I'm in prison. She, people going to fuck with other people. And he got her pregnant, and I was like, this nigga got my bitch pregnant when I was in prison. Now I come home, the nigga ain't even keep it real. Like, he left. The nigga came, got my bitch pregnant, and left. She I'm had like, a baby? This, this greasy ass nigga. You said, oh, what? She had a baby? Yeah, look cute. She had a cute little daughter. Uh, it's cool, though. Shit like that happens. Sometimes we have the wrong judgment of who we fucking with. A lot of times we make rash decisions in a, um, a very short amount of time. So it happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't say that. I don't feel like sometimes kids don't be a mistake. Cause I do. Feel I mean, like I ain't got that. no kids. I ain't got no kids to um, know that experience. Because if you, if you okay, if you have, a, if you fucking some girl, whatever, whatever, you know, you end up fucking around and you end up getting her pregnant. Okay. Was it your intentions on getting her pregnant? or Was it a mistake? Okay, say I did get her pregnant on accident. You know what I'm saying? And she decided to have the baby. I gotta accept that. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, 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 if you choose to, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I got it. That's my child, like type shit, like, like I literally. Like, I mean, people no, have no kids all the time, and they don't accept the shit. And bitch, I don't want it. Get rid of it, and you don't want to get like, rid of like, it. I'm if, not if, gonna if you, take care of it. If you got whoa, give me my son, give me my child. Type shit, go on, be go on, be a hot and ass like you want to be. But well, let me get my child though. I tell, I don't, I don't. Whatever, we we cool. Cause there's plenty of girls out here want to be uh. Stepmama for Polo, so you going about your business. Women are more prone to be stepmoms than that. Than nah, these niggas, are niggas will jump out there too. Niggas ain't shit so much, they'll jump out there even when they don't take care of their own kids. Like, it'd be so <laughs> fucked up. Nigga, some niggas take care of their stepkids and not their real kids. They take, some niggas take care of the kids that are in the house. Like, when they gone, they gone type shit. Like, niggas ain't shit. Like, I never vouch for niggas or females. Like, there's a lot of ain't shit going on on both sides type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know. But I ain't trying to act like I'm perfect. I got fucked up ways too, you know what I'm saying? But not those. Yeah, no. Not those ones. I just feel like I don't respect a man that don't take care of the heads. I don't either. How can you? I don't either. Especially if you out here balling and acting like you balling. Like you, ain't, you, you, live in, you live in the same city. And there's a lot of motherfuckers going to watch this. You live in the same city as your children. You ain't seen them in weeks. Months, years. Years, months, years. That shit is insane. But I and don't really, give a single fuck about it. Like, don't give two fuck. Like I can't be all, you ain't you you ain't my nigga. Like you cool, we straight. You ain't my dog. That like, shit, nigga. That shit weird. A lot of niggas be like they beefing with their baby moms, but how your mama go pick up your jit then? You can't have those type of people in your energy. No, nah, I can't have you. You got low vibrational energy. You don't give a fuck. So you straight, but from over there. Yeah, you good. You cool. If I see you in the club, what, what they do? I, I never, yeah. get, I never get into your personal life. That's your life, bro. But you ain't finna bring that type of shit around me though. Same thing I feel about snitching. You ain't finna bring no snitching shit around me. No booger shit. Not right up in my... Whatever you do, that's your business, but keep it over there type shit. Not in your inner circle. Don't bring it in my inner circle. You ain't gonna get cut off. A woman will always tell you what she won't do. It's all about the quality of a man, how far she'll go with what she's willing to do. So I can't... I will never ask a girl yeah. who's been dealing with... It might be a girl who's been dealing with bullshit her whole life. So it's gonna be a lot of things she'll tell me she won't do. But once I come in and I execute and I do what I gotta do, she's gonna open up to doing more things. So it don't matter about asking the girl a situation. You know what I'm saying? You okay, gotta go yeah, through that situation true. with her type shit. This episode is sponsored by New Dream Skincare. 
that's how I keep my face looking, how I be keeping it looking all good and stuff. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with New Dream Skincare for your skincare needs. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, share, share it to your friends. Even if they got one follower, they one follower might have 300 followers, that 300 buy with maybe, you know, so on and so forth. So share it, like it. So YouTube will know that y'all like the content so they can recommend it to other people. Okay? I'm Honey underscore H-U-N-N-I-I on social media. Smooch underscore X all across the border. Lil Polo the Don 29. It's brown. <laughs> hey, and we together. <laughs> and together we make Smooch Loves Honey across all social media platforms. Y'all make sure y'all check this video out.